Hey people, welcome back to another exciting and magical edition of How to Get Your Work Done with Mr. A. So today I'm going to show you a couple great tools in Photop that you absolutely need to know. Number one up is the Spot Healing Brush Tool. We're going to use this to remove a bunch of uh, pimples, blemishes from portraits, thus the name Portrait Retouching Practice, if you're using the PSDs provided. Um, and then there's also, a little bit later, I'm going to show you the Clone Stamp Tool, which is pretty cool for like removing entire people from... Uh, like a beach scene. Um, so yeah, first up we got uh, spot healing in the portrait retouching PSD. Uh, so if you open it, there's three layers. You don't have to do all three. You just kind of pick one and yeah, delete the other ones. So I don't like that kid and I don't like that one. So I'm going to do this one. All right. But it's up to you. You pick whichever one you want. Um, and uh, here it is. The spot healing brush tools like the band-aid with a little sparkle. That's great and wonderful. Um, so you select that and you are basically like painting over the blemishes and the photo P is going to do a pretty good job of uh, sampling the area around it and then covering those those blemishes. So the hot tip is that you don't necessarily want to work on this layer because like it's kind of destructive. The easier and more professional thing to do is make a new layer and put all your edits on a new layer. So we're going to start with that. Make a new layer, blank layer. Ta-da, right here. But when you do that, you need to do one more thing, which is change this up here. Source is not just the current layer, it's current and below, or even all layers. But current and below is fine. You wanna you need to sample from the layer below it. Um, so yeah, then you're you're good to go. You basically like just kind of paint the little red mark and it will then sample the area around that mark and smush all those pixels and kind of blur them a little bit to cover up um, the blemish that is on this person's face. So yeah, you just like kind of go in. Don't, don't be afraid to like move around and like zoom in um, and like make these really good. Right? Even like this little bio lip looks terrible. This obviously is bad. This. So yeah, professional photographers actually outsource this um, kind of work and just pay other people to do it because they're too busy. Um, so the point is, yeah, if, if you can do portrait retouching, you can make money. And this is like super basic portrait retouching. Um, let's get this spot. It's terrible. This one. This one, this, that, I'll go back and do that one, this whole thing. Again, spacebar is the hand tool. Spacebar plus command or control, zoom in, or you click and drag while you're doing that to um, zoom in and out. This here. So yeah, you need to make your photos look at like the best possible, so spend the time and use this spot healing tool. Um, and it's it's also pretty sweet to uh, do it on a new layer just so you can like kind of turn it on and be like, oh wow, I don't have acne and now I do have acne. So anyways, that's a spot healing brush tool, super useful just for like quick portrait retouching. Um, and yeah, once you, you get a good one, you wanna Obviously, like, save it and submit it as a PSD, right? That's our favorite file type, PSD. And I'm looking for you to have it on a new layer, like all these edits to be on a new layer. Like I said, that's the more professional and smart thing to do. Keep your edits on a new layer, which is exactly what we're going to do in the next one. So once you get this done, saved, and submitted, uh, hop on over, and we're going to do the next tool, which is Clone Stamp. Um, Pretty much the same same kind of setup. I have three of these in here. You can choose from, uh, and you don't need to do all three. So let's see. This one has dogs, which is pretty cool. This one doesn't, so I'm going to delete that one. And I don't like those people. Here, boom. So you got this cool beach scene with all these dumb tourists, and you want to get rid of them. What do you do? Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Um, but here, this is what I'm showing you right now. It's the clone stamp tool. Um, but just like we did with the other one, we're going to make a new layer and make all our edits on uh, a new layer. So layer, new, new layer. 
that's the layer we're gonna like make our edits on. This is the layer we're gonna sample from. But when we're on this clone stamp tool, uh, where? If you use a source up here, current layer. No, current and below. That's what we want. Current and below, or even all layer. Current and below. Um, and so this is a little bit different. You can't like just paint. You need to, like it says right there, select a clone source by holding Alt. That's the keyboard that you need to know. It's Alt or Option, and you need to like designate a specific area. So uh, like zoom in and pick someone that you don't like that you want to remove. Hold Alt or Option. Right. Or if even if you, uh, you know, if you're on an iPad or something else, it, it's right here. Alt select source. But I'm going to hold down alt, click on an area of beach and then use the uh, you just like click once to sample your source and you can kind of paint away. The people. But keep an eye on uh, like where your source is, because like watch my source is now over this person's arm, and now I'm just making a whole another person. That's not what you want to do. Obviously, the idea is to remove people from the beach scene. So, uh, like you can sample another area of the beach, uh, which you're gonna have to do actually. So keep your hand like on Alt or Option. Keep sampling uh, an area that you're gonna use, and keep brushing away areas that you don't want to see. Another like hot tip is uh, the hard edge brushes, um, you know, can be pretty visible. Uh, it's not too terrible here, but I always like to kind of have a really soft brush when I do this stuff. So let's try this again. Alt to sample a source and then brush away. Whoops. Boom. And I'm going to remove this whole person. And whenever you need to sample another source that's close, about the same color of like the sand that you want to use to cover the person. And you want to kind of keep your brush pretty small and be kind of accurate. Um, one of the annoying things that students do is make your brush real big and it really looks um, terrible here. Let me show you. Like that person really just disappeared pretty easily. Um, but this is like what lazy students do, and I can't stand it. Is like make your brush real big, and then like oh, sample one source, and go and paint like the whole thing. Like this is pretty terrible when you do that. No, I don't like that. Um, so let's reverse that a second and zoom in, right? And pick a person that you don't like, like this guy right here, and make your brush a reasonable size. Like, actually, it should be pretty small. Where's my brush size? There it goes, small. All right, and then Alt to sample a source and then paint away. But you got to keep an eye on like where that source is coming from. Like now I'm like painting that lady, so you might have to select a different area uh, or source from a different area. And you're going to have to keep doing that. Because the source is kind of attached to the, the brush. All right. So it moves with the brush. So yeah, you got to remove all these people from the beach. And it will be a little time consuming, but that's okay. We have time, but we don't have patience for ugly tourists in your photos. So get rid of them, all of them. Let's go. And again, like as soon as you need to like sample a source, hold down Alt and paint away. And you know, once you get comfortable removing ugly tourists, from your photo and you remove all of them, you know, that's when you can start to maybe use it a little bit differently. Yeah, just to show you. Like I just removed all those people, those ugly people from my photos. Um, the other way to use it is like you can duplicate things. So this is maybe the fun part. Uh, I'm gonna Alt click on my dog right here and make another one. And it was a friend. And we're going to make them a couple friends. 
Well, kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I want to see what you can do. How many people can you remove and make it still be believable uh, using the clone stamp tool right here.